in this video lesson let us learn regarding important chemical property of aldehyde and ketone namely the nucleophilic addition reaction nucleophilic addition reaction of aldehydes and ketones can also be called by the name as condensation reaction here we are talking about two different process one is addition reaction one more is condensation process wherever there is presence of double bond the newly reacting molecule will take up its attachment with the molecule in the place of double bond with the reactant molecule in the place of double bond and in the process while completion if simple molecules get eliminated maybe in the form of alcohol or amine or maybe water then all the reactions are referred by the name as condensation reaction here in the condensation process of aldehydes and ketones water will be getting eliminated so therefore the phenomenon can also be referred by the name as condensation reaction now let us take up example for this addition of ammonia addition of ammonia will occur in a similar manner for both aldehydes and ketones so let us see how actually this takes place general formula of aldehydes as you know is r c h o where carbon and oxygen are linked by means of double covalent bond now this adds with ammonia molecule a split and write ammonia molecule like this to make you to understand the process nh3 i have split and written as nh2h it is still nh3 now what happens during addition reaction ammonia will add in the place of the double covalent bond that is between carbon and oxygen so here it will take an attachment the h of this ammonia will react with oxygen of carbonyl group and will come out as or settle down in the molecule as oh and in the remaining portion the nh2 will take an attachment so now the compound will be like this r h linked with the carbon will be there now here it is this nh2 that will take an attachment and here oxygen of the carbonyl group and the hydrogen of the ammonia will take an attachment so this will form a compound like this this is a temporary compound now what happens the oh and one hydrogen from here will go out as water will get removed as water and when it gets removed as water the process is called condensation here you can see all the reactant molecules are present in this compound therefore this process is also called addition reaction now let us see what happens in the next step the second step r linked with c and hydrogen remains as it is now carbon will be linked with nitrogen by double bond and then with hydrogen because one hydrogen only will go out with this oh as water so therefore we land up in the formation of the corresponding alkyl imine if carbon and nitrogen are linked by double covalent bond and in turn nitrogen is linked with one hydrogen then it gets the name the organic compound gets the name as imine now this was a general reaction for aldehyde let us see this case with an example let us take an example for aldehyde the common one be acetaldehyde formula of acetaldehyde is ch3 cho where carbon and oxygen are linked by double covalent bond the common carbonyl group formula adds with ammonia now what happens if you have understood the general formula you can write the specific example just by replacing the r r can be replaced by ch3 or any other alkyl group 
related to this. So therefore, here again CH3 single bond above is hydrogen, below will be OH and linked to that will be NH2O. So this will be only a temporary compound. So now what happens? OH and one hydrogen from this amine will get removed as water. So therefore CH3 the alpha group that we have added now then we will see linked with nitrogen by double bond. Now this will be one hydrogen only because the other hydrogen has gone out as water and this OH will be there with compound as water. So therefore the compound name or the product obtained is ethanimine. Ethanimine. This is the correct IUPAC name of this particular compound. I mean the formula CH3, CH, double bond, NH. Now, in a similar way, even ketone reacts with ammonia. Let us understand this. I will just make simple change with aldehyde. So, as you know the general formula of ketone is RCO, R dash. If both the R's are alike group, then it is symmetrical ketone. If they are unlike group, then it is unsymmetrical ketone. So, therefore, the starting material is ketone. Ketone reacts with ammonia. Now, we have a product happening in a similar way like that of aldehydes. Instead of H, we have R dash in case of ketone. So now they will undergo further process. What is the process? Removal of water. How will that be taking place? OH and H from here will get removed as water. So therefore, we will end up in the formation of the corresponding imine. Now there will be two alkyl groups. So we can also in the trivial nomenclature can be calling this as dialkyl imine. Now let us take up this with an example. Now the example that we are going to consider for a ketone, let us take symmetrical ketone namely acetone. Acetone is trivial nomenclature. Propanone is its IUPAC nomenclature. Propanone adds with ammonia. So it will form an intermediate addition product which will lose a molecule of water later on and the name of this compound is this will be our parent chain and this will be the second carbon atom so therefore we can call this as propan 2 imine where there is elimination of water taking place therefore the reaction is condensation reaction this is how in a similar way both aldehydes and ketones react with ammonia forming the corresponding imines.